What are the reasons the Niners should sign Brandon Ayuk, re-sign him? And then we'll go to the reasons they shouldn't. Start with the reasons they should. He's the best wide receiver on the 49ers. Correct. They're going, they're going to lose Jawan Jennings next year, and we know what we get from Debo. If you take Brandon Ayuk out of the equation, what do you have? I mean, I guess they could rely on Ronnie Bell in his second year next year. I guess that could be the plan, and he is Ayuk's backup. But Brandon Ayuk is a phenomenal route runner. He's mm-hmm. the best pure wide receiver that this team has he's super tough great blocker i i feel like it's really risky to move on from brandon Ayuk without a sure plan behind him because if if you have debo and a, and a question mark replacing brandon Ayuk, your receivers are pretty bad honestly no doubt um but still those are that's a good list of pros it just feels like the same list that you would use two years ago to talk yourself into signing debo here's the cons Brandon Ayuk is not an elite wide receiver. He's merely very good. And a very good wide receiver at 25, 26 is going to make about $24 million a year. You're going to be paid a lot, a lot, a lot of cash, uh, like Debo. And do you really want to spend another $24, $25 million on a wide receiver who's not upper echelon? He's one tier below. It's an expensive decision to make. You know what I mean? And like you're already overspending one a one wide receiver on your team. Can you really afford to spend fifty million dollars a year uh, on Ayuk and Debo, who frankly are two complementary players? The whole thing goes through Christian McCaffrey. Right. I don't know. Um, like in retrospect, Debo is coming off an All Pro year, but the smart move would have been to trade him right then for a draft pick and say, "There's a lot of good wide receivers that come out every year. We'll get one. We won't miss." We'll trade him for a guy in his rookie deal and start over. That's essentially what the Niners did when they had Emmanuel Sanders. They're like, you're done. We can find someone in the draft. And they did. Maybe they do. I want to do it. Maybe they do. I guess it depends on how much they believe in Ronnie Bell and Tay Martin and Danny Gray and those young guys. If they believe in them, because they're going to lose Juwan Jennings pretty much no matter what. There's, I don't see how they re-sign Juwan Jennings. If they move on from Brandon Ayuk and all you guys, Debo. You got to believe in Tate Martin, Ronnie Bell, and uh, freaking Danny Gray. Or what do you have? I, it just seems like if they move on from BA, I don't really see you. You'd have playing. to replace him with a first round pick. You, you have, have to trade him for a first round pick and then use that first round pick on a wide receiver and get it right. And and, and, and if you don't, possible. you're screwed. Yeah, that's yeah, pos- I mean, there, yeah. there are a lot of good receivers coming out of college every year. Right, like, like the Vikings did that. Instead of paying Stephon Diggs or whatever, they traded him and drafted Justin Jefferson. It worked out for them. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's a lot of examples of teams trying to do that and failing. So I'm just saying he's not elite and he's going to be expensive. Maybe he'll be elite by the end of the season, but he had an opportunity to take over that game against the Browns last week and he couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Yes. And no, like that last drive, I give Brandon. Now you the credit for that. That's he's fair. the one that's, that put yeah, him in field goal position. That's true. He, he that's took true. a four yard pass, made it 30 yards, put him in field goal that position, put him in a chance to win. It wasn't Brock that did that. It was Brandon. Now so I, you're right. He, I'm sorry, Brandon. You did that. And he could bounce back and have a phenomenal season. If you're going to pay one wide receiver on the 49ers, $24 million a year, I'm paying Brandon Ayuk over Debo. That's a, that's another point. Instead of trading Brandon Ayuk for a pick, you could trade Debo. Keep Brandon.